this video, we're going to take you through and how to do a standard measure in lineal feed. And of course, throughout the video, we'll be talking a little bit about some tips and tricks to make this process easy and fast. Now, to begin, I'm going to start here on my estimate costings page, and I'm going to do a takeoff for, say, some ground floor framing. So to begin, I need to go ahead and I can either double click inside of the category or I can hit the edit pencil. It's up to you. And when I open that up, I just want to confirm that the unit of measurement here is going to be LF for lineal foot. Um, from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the right angle triangle, and that'll take me now into my plans. And we'll begin by just navigating down to our floor plan. From here, I'm going to zoom in on my plans. So as with any of the takeoffs or any of the ways you interact with the takeoff tool, I am just going to hit this little orange circle and give that a click and drag in. And to move myself around the round, around the plans, I'm going to simply click and hold the mouse. And as long as I'm holding it down, I can move myself around. Now, with my area square in my sights, I want to bring our attention to the top left-hand corner. And if you've seen other previous takeoff videos, then this will look somewhat familiar to you. Starting on the left-hand side, though, we have our polygon tool, which will be a continuous multi-sided shape, uh, especially handy where it ends where it starts. And that's the one I'm going to use here to start with. We can also use the rectangle, an ellipse, and a line. And we're going to come back to the line tool in a minute. From here, we can do things like change color. We can add an angle or a surface pitch. We can draw our deductions, or we can also show our hider labels. And as always, this one is kind of blue color, so that's just telling us it's on. We can go ahead and give it a click, though, and turn it off if we need to. But I usually like to have it on just so we can see the math unpack. So we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to find a corner, single click. When I do that, you're going to see a label will pop up here. And this line will start to chase my mouse around. And from here, all we're going to do is essentially start to click around in each corner. Now, as always, if I can't see the other side of the line that I need to do the takeoff for, I'm going to simply click and hold my mouse, emphasis on holding the mouse down. And that allowed me to move myself around the plans. Taking my finger off the mouse, I can then reorientate my mouse on the bottom corner single click to mark my point and continue to do my takeoffs accordingly. Again, click and hold, coming back up. And as always with the polygon tool, we want to end it back where we start. Now, if we accidentally click in the wrong spot, that's fine. We can simply hit the escape button on our keyboard and it undoes the last click. But again, with the polygon, just clicking back into the green circle to finish. So from here, we're done. And obviously, with the ground floor framing, we're going to want to go ahead and measure some of the internal walls here. So the polygon is really handy because it is the outside is obviously a continuous shape. But moving to the internals, we want to go ahead and hit the line tool. And I'll just zoom in a little bit here. And so essentially, from here, it's just a single click to start, bring it our mouse down to the bottom, and a single click to finish. And again, click to start and click to finish. Now, a handy little tip and trick here with the line tool is it's, well, it is a click to start and click to finish. What you can do is you can actually essentially just double click, which is obviously just one click to start or stop and one click to start. So it is a really handy way to be able to essentially expedite uh, your line takeoffs from there. But anyway, we just keep going around each of the pages. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit the accept and save, and that'll then automatically pop my lineal foot quantity in there. And that's how we do the lineal foot takeoff. Mm -hmm.